So Lars, I, I wanted to pick your brains uh, a bit about the stock market, where I know you have quite a, a deep knowledge. Um, so I, I guess along with a lot of other investors, have been wondering, have AI and the AI opportunities been priced into the stock market at the moment? Obviously, we've seen a very difficult uh, uh, time for the stock market in 2022, and it's been picking up a bit in 2023, but it's still not back to the heights of 2022, and especially not, not the NASDAQ index. Um, but what are your thoughts on the AI impact of the stock market? No, I don't. And the reason I say that is that mo much, if not most of the impact is not on listed shares. It is on unlisted shares. It's small startups and startups that are not even started yet, but will during the next uh, few months and quarters. Um, that is where you will see huge opportunities. So I think a lot of companies are being created right now, which will become absolutely huge because of AI. And this is this is not reflected in anything we can see in stock, you know, in, in public stock markets, not even yet in venture returns. But I think we'll see that. So Lars, right now um, there are a lot of concerns in in the economy. We've seen higher inflation in in the past couple of years than uh, than in many years before. We've seen increasing interest rates, and they they might increase even further. But what type of impact do you see AI having on inflation and interest rates in the longer term? I think it will soften um, the negative things that are, are pretty likely to impact the markets, in my opinion, which is you know the risk of a U.S. recession. And the reason I think that is that AI will drive down inflation, uh, all else equal, and that will drive down interest uh, rates. And at the same time, AI will stimulate economic growth. And the combination of low or falling or low uh, interest rates and high and rising growth is, uh, is the best scenario you can have for stock markets. So I don't want to, to relate this comment to just the next few months, but over the next five to ten years, I think that AI will be very, very positive for financial markets. So Lars, do you think the combination of AI driving down uh, inflation and interest rates will lead to a strong bull market for the next many years? I think now we have, we have, uh, we have some structural problems in China. Uh, we have a risk of a uh, recession in the US, I don't think a serious recession, but uh, perhaps a short-lived and, and fairly shallow recession in the US. Um, I think coming out of that, especially the US recession, I think there's a possibility of a, a very good long run in the, in the stock markets. And that is because AI is more powerful than, than the internet and, and it impacts the economies faster than the internet. So because of that, I think that will, it will really lift the stock market a lot more than it would otherwise do on, say, a five to ten years basis. What a lot of people ask themselves is, can you pick the right stocks to, to, to benefit from, from AI? Or will we see a general lift across many different verticals uh, because of AI? So it's more about the implementation than actually the invention of, of AI. So what would you say? Is it enough to, to buy a broad index? Or do you need to, to pick specific stocks to get the value out of the, the AI advancement? I actually see the benefits lifting a lot of sectors more equally. And that is because um, I, I, I don't think that the big part of the money is in creating AI. The big part of the money is in implementing AI on specific business situations. And that is getting cheaper and cheaper. And so it can, it, it, for instance, in the pharmaceutical uh, industry, you can make automated laboratories driven by robotic scientists, and these laboratories can work 24-7, uh, 365 days a week, testing different hypotheses, trying out different stuff. So the productivity in pharmaceutical uh, discovery 
will absolutely explode. And you will see in, in the media sector, which I mentioned earlier, but you, in, in that sector, you will, you will experience uh, a whole range of new products that didn't exist before. So lots and lots of places, people will implement AI virtually without paying anything for them or for it and use that to create amazing new services, new products, um, and doing it at a lower, lower cost. I think this is pretty good news for, for the private investor that you can actually stay in some of the big indexes and, and you would see the benefits of, of AI being spread across a big, a large number of companies and a large number of sectors uh, so that you don't need to be a professional investor to actually benefit from, from the AI evolution.